and we are live from the Ant Hill. Coach Chris here with you, and along me, alongside of me, um, is fellow caster Dylan. What's up? What's up? Or don't look at me, or stop looking at me, or nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah. Old Dylan. It's been a while since I've been back in the booth. Yeah, for sure. But I see the boys, the Cowboys have been keeping it going. I think they're, are they undefeated? Correct? In NJ? They are, they are in NJ. So we're bringing you an NJ match tonight. And uh, Dylan is going to be our observer tonight. So, you know, Coach Chris takes a lot of slack for being <laughs> kind of bad on the keys sometimes and stuff. So brought Dylan in to make it better mm -hmm. for the viewers out there. It's all about looking at the arrows, I guess. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's in layman's terms. Yep, but uh, USC Sumter is uh, six and zero on the on the season right now. This is the last week of the regular season for oh, NJ, wow. so got a chance to go seven and zero. Uh, and yeah, hopefully close out the the season undefeated, rolling to playoffs, looking to. Capture back to backs for spring along with fall from last year. Yep. Which is the goal. For sure. So we're going to be headed into, I think, each, you know, we got like a bye, not really a bye week, but like a, a tournament like set up. Like there's a break in action after the this uh, week for NJ, for all teams across all games. Um, and then everybody jumps right into the playoffs right after that. So you'll see something they're going to look to repeat and. The players know that if they get the win, we're going to get some rings. I told them if we oh. repeat, if we repeat, we're going to get rings. So some incentive I like. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Jealous. I'm a little jealous you know, of that. Champion, champion has a ring to it. Um, so yeah, we want to make sure that uh, we do well here. And why don't I let Dylan kind of tell us what he sees on the leaderboards overall and where Hutchinson's sitting and yep. USC Sumter's sitting. Yep, that works for me. So currently the Fire Ants are number one in the bracket. I think they are the only undefeated team that we have on here at 6-0. and Actually, there is Tallah Tallahassee CC, which is 5-0. and I think they play tonight while the Fire Ants are 6-0. and St. Clair is 6-1 and in second place right now. That we play Hutch CC. They are currently eighth place out of ten at a two and three record. So, I mean, it could go either way. You know, you don't want to go ahead and say this is going to be a wrap in the books for either team. But if you're going just based off solely the record, Fire Ants have a very strong chance of winning this based off of their team record compared to Hutch. But hopefully, it's going to be a good game either way. For the match tonight and hopefully it's gonna be a fire ants win yeah for sure so I mean it's a good breakdown there I mean that's where everybody kind of kind of stands um, you know USC Sumter the only other undefeated team is Tallahassee but USC Sumter hasn't faced them um, yet this semester um, we did scrim with them as a scrim team um, last semester quite a bit um, so we know them at least uh, but there's a couple decent teams in here. I don't know if we played Central as well. Um, they are five and one. So, uh, but there's uh, there's some interesting uh, there's an interesting field here. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. Um, looks like we did get the match code here. So gonna try to get into the game. Um, and uh, just to give you kind of anybody watching, give a, kind of a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, the second team, um, or the open team, I should say, for Call of Duty, they uh, have a bye week today. So they will not be uh, playing tonight. And also the FIFA teams have a bye week as well. So um, uh, quite a bit of uh bye weeks going on right here at the end of the season for those teams but we do have the rocket league team that plays at 7 30 so we will be broadcasting our rocket league team for the first time this season um, oh, wow. at 7 30 uh so that's going to be really cool and fun to watch um they're a pretty good team and they're looking to go into 
uh, the um, they're looking to go into the playoffs here uh, with pretty impressive standings. So it uh, looks like uh, Hutch is going to be Cortac. So we're going to swap sides here and make sure everybody's good. And it does look like we are minus being caster. And uh, yeah, so our first map is going to be Hotel for Hardpoint. Yes. <clears throat> right here. And huh, I'm uh, really rusty on how they like to play this hard point. I don't, I don't remember which side they're going to be on, if it's um favorable side for them or not. But nonetheless, yeah. interested to see kind of how it turns out for the first time and what feels like forever. Right. Some And I'm going to pull up our, our code or our match list here so first map's going to be hotel um uh, hutch does host this match or is hosting this match sorry um and uh second map will be a silo well first map being a hard point right. um hotel second map will be a silo which is our search and destroy Hus hutch also will host that map three will be a silo as well on control usc sumter will be the host for that one so that is where we stand there for the first three maps if needed for the second hard point you will see hydro usc sumter hosting and then the fifth map search and destroy hotel you will see usc sumter also hosting mm. seems like a pretty standard map lineup i've noticed i noticed that we kind of like to go to a silo especially on S D and control hard yeah point. it seems like a lot of teams like to do that yeah, I've noticed for a hard point, we kind of like Hydro and Hotel. I know those are two maps I've seen the Cowboys play a decent amount at times. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think we're just kind of waiting for the lobby to get started at some point. I do recognize some of these names from last semester. I know Spicy Ice was part of Hutch during the fall. Yeah, and, and we like Hutch. We do. Uh, we've partnered with them quite a bit in the past and um played some good matches with them and uh got good camaraderie with their you know i know their coach as well he's a good guy and their players uh, always seem to be very respectful and and things like that so uh, i look for it to be a pretty competitive game but um uh you know nothing out of the you know, ordinary for us to be doing anything silly or them either and stuff like that. So should be straightforward. Keep some good sportsmanship going right here with the team. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Spicy Ice is probably, uh, you know, I haven't seen some of their other players. I don't think. I think I remember Munkin Raider. Yeah. But Spicy Ice, I do remember uh, he was kind of their best player at one time. So be good to keep an eye on him to see how he performs. Um, not, I might know Zeno, but I'm not sure if I know, uh, Cake or not there, but, um, do have some familiarity with their team. Mm -hmm. Um, they all have seen us minus Genesis last semester. So Genesis is a new, uh, group here or a new player to our group. And, uh, and some would say some of the cobblers say he's probably one of their best players out of them so potentially yeah he's uh, been very solid um addition to our program and we want to keep it going mm -hmm. so i kind of want to see how they adjust to how genesis is in the lineup see if they can take him out early in the gunfight see if that can break the some right. defense for sure and or also attack. huh or their attack yeah well and also to give you a little bit more info on this uh cod team um our COD team, uh, they also do play in the CCL, and I know everybody that's been watching us on Mondays have probably seen multiple matches coming in from both uh, CCL um, and NJ, just kind of back to back to back on Monday nights. CCL regular season has ended, so right now everything's getting put in together for the uh, qualifiers, for the last chance qualifier and the playoffs and such. Um, so USC Sumter should have another CCL match um, coming up in the next uh, week or so. Probably sometime next week uh, is when we will kick off our first match for that. So that's just something to kind of keep 
in mind there um, as far as that goes. So. You know what uh, record we finished that for CCL? Um, CCL, we finished six and five. We went on a little bit of a losing streak there. Uh, we were three and one, and then I think we lost like three, four in a row. Uh, and then we went on a winning streak in the end. Um, lost some games on paper that we shouldn't have lost, uh, but ultimately it's just how it came down. Yeah, it's a little more stiff competition compared to uh, NJ, so I mean, it is what it is. With yeah, that. CCL is definitely the the cream of the crop. It is the stiffest competition in Call of Duty on the college level, regardless of the league. So NJ, NACE, um, or even uh, ECAC. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a couple other ones out there. Um, NACE does have a lot of the teams that play in College Cod. Um, so, uh, you know, you'll see some overlap there. But, yeah, USC Sumter's uh, got a lot to go there. Yeah, going 500 in that is a pretty respectable record to have. Above 500. Uh, above 500, that's right. That's yeah, right. 67. The first blood by jumps. Such a long point. Spicy ice, and that's. Already team, three down. Three down, yeah, almost team wipe. And whoops, sees one running the couch. Pick him up. Let's get it. And that's three down again. Genesis down the hill. Jumps last man. With Reno kind of giving him overwatch. That's two over on his right. Picks him both up. Let's get tagged, but... Ooh. Jumps was going to be able to get it. Genesis does refrag, so USC Sumter holding the majority of this hill. 15 seconds left. We're going to see a rotation here yeah, from both it. teams. Trash being left to Genesis. And whoop. Not quite seeing him out of the corner of his eye. There it goes down, but Zeno gets traded out by Reno, I believe. Or Jumps? No, Jumps. Yeah, Jumps is the one on hill that cleaned up the, the, the point. And running through the live side of Genesis gets one. Couldn't finish the last one. He jumps getting ready. The call that was given to him. Gets jumped from. Still good to see Jones taking up a lot of his time. Uh, nothing wrong with playing OBJ and just staying down. To get flushed here. But the team has doing a good job of at least holding Hutch back so that they don't contest anymore. It looks like it is going to be a clear for Hutch. 26 seconds left on the clock, but Sumter still on with Whoop. Gets two, almost three, yeah. and they finally take it from USC Sumter with 17 seconds left. But then it's changed out again, and yeah, Whoop was the last one it. on hill with a three to one advantage, and they took way too long to push that. Yeah, and the rest of the team respawn. Yeah, you would have liked. To, I mean, if you're on Hutch's side, you would have liked to see them pinch him really fast and get the hill, but unable to get it and. In this kind of money hill here, this is the hardest hill probably to break. Minus maybe P5. Um spot gets two of them with it. Just to try to push up and clear off the contest if they find it. Reno goes down on hill. As well as Genesis. And it's up to jumps and whoop. Jumps the last one attack. Mm. Goes down. Un unfortunate there. Spicy Ice uh, did it well for his team. Yeah. Reno can go in and get one. I don't <laughs> think he was ready for that, but uh, Genesis out. helped him out. As he came around the corner, he was testing this hill. So it is a big fight here. Spicy Eye snaking that as best he can. Genesis coming around the corner, just putting the gun in his chest there, <laughs> getting the kill. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, and they do. Get the rotates for next hill. Hutch kind of played too late trying to play on the kitchen hill. Because we're getting a little bit of yeah, lag getting here. getting a little bit of lag there. Want to see Jump just play his life. Don't try to challenge too far with that. SMG. Wall banging. Get the rest. Yeah, wall banging. Woo. <laughs> Got one through the window. And almost gets another one through there. Just knows the rotates. The first one's up top. White have the heady room. It's challenging on the right side. Oh, he's unlucky. He doesn't get that one. Get shot from multiple locations. USC Sumter trading out here pretty decently and does. Clear I'm not sure how, but we were able to take on the hill and get the point. So, Jumps to Reno just played sectional right there to get the, the three off the hill. Reno the double kill.
help right. clear it off. For sure. On that rotation, jumps maybe just slightly did not show him where he was going, but he does end up getting a kill. But now he has some this last one here. This P5, as I said before, P3 and P5 are probably the toughest two kills on this match to break. Yeah, as we start trading out, and we there's only one left, and that's Monk, Monkey Raider. I think yeah. it's his name. Monkey Raider, yeah. Kill and Spicy Ice was able to call in his kill streak. Gets two on Hill, even though we had a trophy down, didn't. Stop it. Reno is still just playing his life. We'll, should get this kill, and USC Sumter will finish up that trash point. Um, and everybody else is rotating. Yeah, I didn't even know a trope system could going to take down like one of those Predator missiles. Yeah, it's it's nuts. It's like, it's like it's a, stupid. It's a big missile it can just take out. Yeah, uh, it's very stupid, but uh, that's why you'll see some of our players just hold on to one. When they hear it, they just pop it oh, and go from there. That's smart. So we're trying to work towards this five. Spicy Ice holding the back of Kitchen right here. we got to try and flush him out before they can try to play. As he yeah, takes out is two. P5. I think my P's were off earlier as far as which hills were which I was probably making up uh, happens to the best of us two and four I believe is anyway yeah this back steps is a really tough spot and you see something's just getting basically team killed here it was hard for us to break it uh, but we can honestly just chalk this and go to the next map, which I think is our next map. Next uh, point, back to E1. I think that's what we're looking to do. Yeah, we start off pretty hot, but now as we near P5 and towards P1, we're starting to cool off a little bit with our kills right here. And never mind, as we get a, a 2K right there, we'll jump in. Ooh. Going back yeah. to P1. Gonna see a, a try to end. Well, I thought they were gonna try to end. Gonna go down. And Hutch is starting to sync up a little bit better now. They have taken out all the fire ants. Yeah, they definitely have uh, connected a little better as they're playing and gaining some of that ground back. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of a reset was needed for the fire ants, but there's 30 seconds left. And we do have spawns for P2 Hill with Reno and Whoop playing for that as Hutch just pretty much decides to give it up. Franchar Reno tags one. Can't finish off Spicy Ice as well. I'm just gonna have the entire team trying to play. Mm. I'd like to see him maybe play that a little more patient there. This jump's gonna run out of bullets as he's growling and does get the two at the back. Yeah, we um, clear out their flank. Jumps gets another one, that's three. Sees another one the four the back line. on and a four streak here. And all the Hutch is out. I, I didn't realize that. No, that's, they they were team wiped pretty much after that, the fourth one. Because uh, other players got kills immediately. And Jump goes down after his five kill streak. And Woop was the last on Hill. Gets two headshots, then goes down. But Reno jumps right up, takes the spot. And now. USC Sumter goes down, but jumps was able to come in and trade. So USC Sumter doing good on on uh, P2 here. Trade over. And Headed to P3. P3 is this is the do or die hill for Hutch. We're just gonna chalk it for sure. P3 is the tough hill to break, but USC Sumter only needing three seconds should be able to cap this right away and finish off that map. Hey. USC Sumter wins 250 to 106. A great game by the Fire Ants and I want to say they did really well of just swapping off Hill and like swapping players back and forth. Yeah, to, uh, as one went down, next touch. person jumped on. Yeah, I agree. That was, that was the biggest thing I noticed for us. It was a really phenomenal job by them. And a pretty well balanced mm -hmm. game. Everyone's kind of going about 20 and 15-ish. Pretty well balanced. Spicy guys 28 and 17 for Hutch as well. 22 non-traded kills. For spicy ice. Yeah, and as we said, Spicy Ice is a solid player. He's uh, the best player on their team. 
Um, definitely fragged out there. I think when he started going on a spree there um, after P4, um, he uh, he was able to, you know, kind of get his team going. Uh, they had a slow start, Hutch did, but then they kind of picked it up on, what, P5? Um, yeah, P5. And then back on P1, they, they picked up a significant amount of time there because they, they only had like 30 points and got it back up to like 90 by that time. Yeah. So um, we're going to see a lobby break here, and then we're going to see a CeeLo come up for search and destroy. So uh, USC Sumter... Headed into map two with a 1-0 series advantage, winning the hard point 250 to 106, right? Yep, 250 to 106. Um, so let's see what we get on the search and destroy. As soon as we get the code, we'll yep. be right into the match. It's going to be uh, El Asilo, which is what most, as you said, kind of most teams like to play SD on. And SD is probably one of our best game modes that we run, so. After a dominant, oh, whoops, dominant hard point <laughs> game, I'm excited to see how we play on S and D. Yeah, for sure. So um, it should be uh, pretty good. Let's see what we could do. I'm sure all the teams know this map pretty well, and uh, looks like everybody's going to be in here very, very soon, and uh, we'll be. Off to the races. Mm -hmm. We only got a couple players, and both are from Hutch, so might be taking a little bit of a reset. And the Cowboys probably taking a little bit of time celebrating their win to get back into the lobby whenever they need to. And I'm not sure which side we'll start on if it's attack or defense. I personally like to play attack a lot if I'm having the choice between attack or defense but that's just my opinion I'm, pr I'm sure most of the players prefer to start off on defense it's just better tactically you could argue as we do see FUD? I don't I don't know if he was in the last game looks like this is a sub we are seeing for Hutch right here who is a massive keyboard player along with Monkey Raider. Yeah, I think that is a sub for them. Let's see if we can kind of bring some to the table in this S and D for Hutch right here. As we await the Cotta Boys is join or them to join as they do join. Missing just whoop from the team. And it looks like we're going to be on Bet grew, which uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna pretend to know which side that is for us or not. We'll see you as we get into the game. Uh, if we will be on attack or defense with it, and we do have everybody in the lobby, and maybe we're all on <laughs> core attack here. Um, maybe a little bit of confusion might be happening, possibly. But I, don't know, I think we, I think we are on courts. Uh, respect. I'm not sure. We're the opposite side of whatever we were the last game. Yep. And if we are Cortec, we just need to swap sides like we just did, and I believe we are good to go, right? Yep. I think so. Hutch did bring in a sub, it looks like. Um, FUD right here at the bottom. Okay. So, I'm interested to see kind of how he plays. I don't remember who he's swapping in for. Um, Do you know Monkey and Spicy Ice Sun? I know Cake? The... Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, he swapped in for Cake. Cake didn't have a, a very good game. I think he only had six kills in that last match. I don't know if that's why they took him out or if maybe uh, FUD is their S&D kind of guy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, see how it goes. Maybe there's some sort of spark he can bring to uh, his team. As we are getting underway into map three, El Asilo. USC Sumter holds the 1 0 lead in maps. First through three maps wins. As we get started. 
and we are going to be on the defensive, the defense side. So we're going to look for probably Reno to be taking the tower side on the right side. And I'm going to assume Whoop will be taking AC towards B-Bomb on the left side of our map right here. While our SMGs will just run mid into the building and try and play off each other. So we get going to the map. Looks like Reno's going to do one heading towards B. I'm not going to... Oh, Reno's bringing out the sniper. Okay. And everyone's going to be playing for an A push. So the sniper's not going to be as useful as you would hope. So we'll swap inside here. Just to find a position for anyone just to push and just take them out. Jump just gets tagged. Reno got a snipe on one. I missed that. I didn't know he was going to see anybody. Looks like Hutch is also running the sniper. It's attacked by FUD. So we'll rotate up. Genesis has one on his right. Right outside bomb. Whoop gets FUD. Yeah, Hutch just playing kind of a slow push but it's it's been it's stalling a little bit, so Yeah, I think the fire is just we're just really quick with their defense setup, and Hutch kind of got stuck, is what I'm going to assume happened. Reno looking to make a play, popping his dead silence. Does pick up an SMG off the ground. And they still got time for any push, but they got to make a decision soon. We're going to push Genesis. Oh, Genesis cleans up on the point. <clears throat> and USC. <So. laughs> You've seen a sniper come out. Um, we have been trying that a little more in some of our NJ matches. Just not necessarily away. bad, but not exactly how you normally play um, search. But uh, nothing wrong with giving it a shot a few rounds, see how it goes. Yeah, Rina's gonna stick with the sniper. It looks like so. Maybe we see a B push from the fire and see if we can get a quick pick off of Rip. Looks like we have nine viewers, so thanks for joining us. And we're no missing that shot there. 23 HP. Fortunate does get tagged too. And FUD is their sniper who's playing that back AC. One goes down, spicy ice goes down by uh, Genesis. Genesis gets another. It's two. Yeah, he's just clearing out the middle building right here. Bomb is down. And it's a 3v1, but they still got control of bomb. Never mind. Uh, looks like Reno did pick it up. Last one on Genesis and take the 2-0 lead. Just like that. But Genesis is just right there waiting for him. Who is? Actually, I'm, I'm not going to say I don't want to give the caster cursed out. Reno's still picking up the sniper, so maybe we see a full sniper run by Reno this game. It's possible. It's like, I don't know if he's got a kill with it yet, though. He actually does. He, I think he has, at least, he has at least one. Yeah, because I think he has one of the SMGs that he picked up. Yeah. But, oh yeah, he did get that one kill in that cross right there that we just saw. Throw a grenade too, but you see Sumter's up 4 2 right here in the live advantage. Genesis sees one gets by himself up top. He's gonna rotate out towards soccer field. Not a bad rotate. I don't think anybody knows he's there. He's gonna get bombed down. Yeah, they think he's if still. If he goes straight in, he's still on A, and they yep, fully he is give up planting. There. Maybe they're confident they can retake B. I mean, it is a 4 to 1 advantage. They should be able to take it. As they, and they hit do. Out quick. Uh, quick rotation style, and Whoop gets the kill. Moving up to 4 and 1. Looks like I'm with the. Gets the defuse. Dead reset. Oh, uh, we're waiting for our dead silence and things like that to just add up if we've got the time. Yeah, it's May as well. the only one that doesn't have it up yet. So I'm trying to get that up as much as possible. That's something I learned at the beginning of this um, beginning of this year. In 
almost gets his daddy full reset. He's gonna have it during pivotal moment in this yeah. upcoming round. Yeah, it's not a bad idea to ever do that. Um, it's actually really good. Um, and you see Sumter is looking good with a 3-0 start. Mm -hmm. And all the players are contributing as well, doing well. Yeah, looks like Reno is back on the AR. He's not running the pistol anymore. He's gonna try and take tower control. Spicy Ice gets first blood. Just towards Kegs, good and grenade. that's another down. That was a good grenade. Just the kill. You see Sumter collapse on that grenade, and it looks like Whoop got that. So Whoop got three kills this round, I believe. Yeah, that was a 15 second hit, can he get the, I believe. Can you get the ace? We'll try and, let's try and spectate and see if he can. <coughs> we know it looks like he does see FUD, who is running his sniper. And try to hit the 360. Someone ended up getting the kill instead. Whoop tried the 360. Uh, it was, was Reno. Oh, Reno. Whoop did get the ace. There's Reno in the background trying to hit it, but. 8 and 1 right now did get the. Secured the ace. The ace, so well played by Whoop there. Sumter 4 and 0 right here. 1 away from match point, 2 off of the win. Reno, pull, uh, Reno pulling back out the sniper. Hutch has done a, a push almost every single time. And it looks like they're going to do it yet again. Towards Genesis and jump yeah, right I mean, here. A really is the most popular push probably on this map. It's one of those things, but yeah. Genesis is going to play this corner tight. He's got a guy right around the corner. Yeah. He doesn't Jumps he's down. stunned out well. of his mind. They know he's there. Gets two. Gets two. Wow. Well played. Genesis does have the cruise missile ready to go. Oh. Yeah. He's going to stay on point. And one, uh, one more Hutch player left alive in Monkey Raider. They don't have bomb. Go ahead and grab it. We're just playing outer towards Soccer Field in case they try to wrap towards him. Whoop! Totally hears um, Raider, but it probably doesn't know if he's outside yet. Might be doing a full flank towards Reno. See if he picks him up. He is trying to go B, so he's gonna go in, get the bomb down, straight on point. Sees the kill yeah. and takes it. Gets it. it. Could have took his time there and <laughs> got the headshot, whatever he wanted to do. Had to line up the shot perfectly. Yeah, you know? but does get the final kill there, three and zero. Yeah, very tough when you're putting a one v three situation, especially against Absolutely. these guys right here. They almost lock it down every single time. And on match point here, leading it 5-0. Yeah, Hutch going to need a miracle to pull out the reverse sweep right here. And maybe, might be going towards the push. Real pulling the sniper. Ooh, just misses oh, yeah, that one. Forces him off AC though, and they can start making this push right here. They want it. They can. They push the whole, they push the whole team back into A. Cruise missile came out. Jumps again. Plant down. Whoopsie spud in the top window. Gets the Challenge. Whoop gets the kill. Yeah, jumps also went down at some point. And so does Whoop. Last one is Monkey Raider. Spicy Ice gets traded. 28 seconds left. Reno gets tagged, give him the call out. 1v1, up to Genesis. Ten seconds, and I don't think Raider's gonna have enough time. And Genesis gets oh, the last gets kill with the a knife. knife. Wow. To finish off. It wasn't Map enough two. time for him to defuse anyways and might as well go for pride. Yeah, for the go for the go for the challenge right there. Genesis getting the knife kill right at the end. Yep. Yossi Sumter will take Genesis S nine and oh. 
Whoop, 10 and 2. Jumps 1 and 4. And Reno 4 and 1. So everybody did their part. Reno had exactly 100 damage on the dot, and somehow got four kills out of that, too. And jumps get the, the plant, the defuse. Uh, we didn't have to plant as much, uh, or defuse as much. You'll see Sumter able to pick off quite a few people in that one. And the lobby is going to break here, and we are going to head to a USC Sumter host, a CeeLo, <clears throat> and go into map three. USC Sumter takes it is a 2-0 advantage yep and uh usc sumter wins 6-0 in the search and destroy so yeah gonna look to finish up on control for the clean 3-0 sweep to finish the season undefeated at a perfect 7-0 that's that's the dream right here that's the goal yeah, and I don't think we actually dropped a map either. Out of the entire season? Straight up undefeated. Wow. I Very impressive by the Cod Boys. I don't, even, I don't even know that. I haven't been keeping up with them that much. We'd have to look at the stats after the match, but I believe so. That's how it goes down. We can actually double check right now. Um, and see... That's our current one. Oh, oh, show it. Yep, USC Sumter has not lost a round in NJ wow. this season. And potentially, if they win this round here, they would go undefeated in rounds and undefeated in this in the season period. Yeah, would have to be the clear favorites to win it all again in the playoffs. I don't know if there's a different like group of us only the ten. Um, colleges that we have on here because I only saw 10 in the standings for it but we just await the invite from the boys in the room <clears throat> which will be on LSILO for control as an old invite so we're just going to wait for them to set up the lobby we'll be getting map 3 underway very soon Yep, just waiting on the lobby code. I wonder if they sent it in the match page. Oh, I don't have it. just signed out for us. No. Oh, uh, did it? Yeah, I'll try to go to the match page. Just That's weird. Drop the sign in. We do have the invite, though, so we can... Yeah, we can join that way. <clears throat> and we'll be good to go. Yep. Looks like almost everybody... Looks like Kate comes back in, so maybe Fudd was... Nope, Fudd's in there too. So, not sure who's going to be there. And it looks like we're going to be spec, so we need to swap sides here. I'm glad you caught that, because I didn't even... <laughs> I don't remember which side is which. Cortex always on the right. Yep. I've failed quite a few times at that before <laughs> I learned it. Oh, actually, we do have Cake in here. Fudd yeah, I saw Cake. cake. Fud as well. So I was going to say maybe Fud was their search person and Cake <laughs> is their respawns, but Cake's back in. So Xeno was the one it's in last good. time as well as. Uh, yeah, Xeno, and then I forget who the other guy is. Monkey? Yes monkey raider so one of them will be watching their teammates play on this final map for it and how would you say we usually do in our controls we say it's pretty um i say we were it's usually like a decent battle like a two to one or three to one or three to two um I would say that normally in the beginning of the season we started off a little slow and a little rusty and yeah. you know needed to work out some kinks on our control but we've done a lot better in the attack um, with our control than we used to. We've done a better job of stacking up as a team 
Um, and on a silo specifically, holding the high ground um, and, you know, trying to make some things happen. So we'll see uh, how it plays out. I mean, I think we could, we have gotten some, some very contested uh, rounds, but we've also done some really good things on, on the matches too. So we'll see how USC Sumter does on this map. Again, hasn't dropped a map yet, so. Fingers crossed, knock on fingers wood. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, all that. Let's see how it goes. As we get started, we will be on the attack side right here. Don't really, I'm not really sure which side they like to attack first. So we'll see if they go for an A or B push off of rip. We'll start on, we'll start on Genesis for first part of this map. See how he does. Get five seconds till match starts. And map three is underway. So we're second towards a B play right here. We're gonna try and nade off the AC player, which is Monkey. And Genesis did get a kill. Thought Whoop might get someone. Oh, the window flood gets tagged. About 40 HP up there. We're gonna one up there to try and trick the test and we already have our this first tick. Stacking up here on the point, everybody rushing to it. To stack up. It takes so long to get out of spawns. We're gonna cap this before they even get back. Oh really great attack right there. We got like three key picks. Clean up clean up the last person and they pretty much all spawned out. So two minutes for this A attack. Right here. And you're gonna see somebody push and try to play them out of the spawn here. Yeah, we know. And it's gonna allow you to something to stack up. We haven't quite got there yet. As the rest of the team's spawning up. But uh Reno gonna have to back off slightly. Yeah, Jensen's gonna up for a little bit. Probably shouldn't have child that in hindsight. But they're getting the spawn trap. They are up about seven in lives right here. And it looks like that's going to be the play. Trying to get the spawn trap and the kills out. As three Hutch players are down and we start Stacking the cap. Up. This is going to be big here, I believe. It takes a while to get back. They're going to get if you at least see a touch. a couple more on there. It goes down. Bro. And I have to contest. They do. I got one at box. You'll see Sumter was so close to capping that, but get pushed out. Spicy Eyes coming up big there, getting three. Yeah, really good recontest and clear Ooh, by Hutch. does not see his feet. Ooh. I can't tell. Uh, He's probably on the other side of the wall. I couldn't tell. Genesis sees one. cake right there. It does look like one was in the doorway on the ground. No, that was good. Those are the boxes. Whoop goes down. Genesis is trying to. You see something just have to shots. coordinate up. They've got the life advantage, 14 to 10. They just have to coordinate together and make this push. Yeah, 45 seconds left. We've kind of wasted a decent amount of time to Spice Axe gets tagged, though. Yeah, and this, this high ground is tough to break. Um, so you're going to see our ARs try to battle. Once they get that, they should be rotating. But just Sumter might have to play lives, lives here a little bit. Does get two. He could just stay in that box. Doesn't need to challenge Spicy. Yes. Not sure why he challenged there. Yeah, this is going to be just stay there really at the box close. and played it out. And Yusuf Sumter has to ten to six. Now eight to six. Kind of just throwing our lives here a little bit. Yeah, we had a big advantage, and they're just all prone in the back right here on boxes. We're gonna get one more touch, but we. Gotta play a whole lot better and better more together. Yeah. Whew. Get that last challenge there that we had where we had the hill. Um, especially with Whoop there, he didn't need to challenge Spicy. Could have just kind of sat down. I get, you know, he was kind of on a on a on a kill and you know making things happen, you know, on a kill streak. But uh, just want to play it a little a little tighter there. Um, 
Yeah, we just... And just sit. I do. I mean, there was one that eventually came behind him and challenged the hill anyway, so he would have had to fight by box, but definitely didn't need to peek. Uh, spicy but it's not all on him we obviously after that just kind of trickled in yeah, as a group and just <laughs> we had to let the the guys all prone just mow us down so yeah, had a two team life advantage and just gave it away yeah maybe we reset right here try and block and finish this out but usc sumter did get five ticks overall in that last one so we're in this mode that it matters ticks matter but so, you see Sumter still has the opportunity to hold on defense. You guys want to see Ice try to chow him and does win the chow. Jumps can't clean him up and they're going to have the A hold. Or at least a little bit right here. This is something cleans up those two at least. That's the My reload. He does get the kill third. He's going to play up. Try to get somebody on the He's respawn. Has to reload. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't even get the kill. You see something playing tight. Hard chasing that. And we do have the spawn trap going right here. Jumps goes down. Jens still playing it tight. You see something able to kind of push up and play this trap. They're doing a very good job. Yeah. Mowing down the lives. The live advantage is crazy right now. Yeah, Jensen's Reno did an excellent job right there playing the spawn traps. But three breakthroughs. Never mind, only one broke through towards A, and it's been greater in the corner. And Genesis that's a four man three, wipe. Three kills there. I don't know if it's a whoop or jump or the other. Genesis yeah, the on a nine wipe. kill streak, and Hutch isn't going to get a touch. Hutch does not get a tick at all. So, USC Sumter takes the round one win there. So, five to nothing right now, even though uh, Hutch won that first round. After a very questionable round one on control, we brought back and dominated uh, round two for control. So, going to look to clean up this attack from round one. I mean, our B push was pretty instantaneous with it. We just couldn't get a hold on A. Now we're gonna try and clean up. Looks like we go for another B push off of Rip. Rip gets tagged in his first dead by right, Spicy. I should get a second one. It does get traded out by Reno. You see Sumter gonna try to do the same thing that they did before. Slowly get this team cap. As soon as they get a, a big team wipe, they're gonna try to push it and cap it all. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Genesis, as I was about to say, does get one. Look for one. Through that fence, sometimes it's tough. Whoop's gonna cap up here. There's one more top. Oh, Spicy gets him. If he would have got that, that would have been the stack that they needed. Yeah, Whoop was a little bit low in each other. That yeah, he definitely. Probably could have got that. I agree. Sumter jumps can just stay down there. Doesn't need to move out. Uh, yeah, and I cannot see where anyone is at. We have three punch players down, and I think we're going to. Full cap B. Stack this up and get the B push. And there's going to be quite a few over the top here. Jumps goes down after getting one. All right. Up on the top there. And for USC Sumter, we definitely want to make sure that if we get to a point where, you know, they're holding down A, we need to make that, that flank push by somebody. Um, and right here from Genesis, just kind of holding that corner. We got two on hill. Nothing wrong with that. And just stay out of the view of the top person. Three or down. Oh, yeah. We're going to so be able USC to. USC Sumter's able to get this as they spawn deep. This is not. They're not going to be able to get a touch. Reno with the spawn trap. They get such a bad spawn on them. Yeah. That's that's just how it works whenever you get those kills on this map. Um, and you already got somebody kind of playing the spawn. Reno was kind of at that halfway point. So he was able to. It was pushing them to a respawn in a bad location and yeah that gives a lot of things there mm -hmm. now on to match point after a dominant defense we're going to look to clean up this to get the three to one win well and it looks like we got a promotion in the chat yay <laughs> thanks I, bot i guess that's 
good for us, I guess. No. <laughs> no, it's just silly. Ice goes down to Genesis. Jumps get straight out early. So with a 2k. Genesis gonna pop the Deddy. Hits one, gonna try and wrap up top. Towards FUD who hops on point. Genesis does find him and cleans up the kill. Gonna have another one on his pool. Gets cake as well on a five kill streak. And we're gonna look for these spawn traps. Ooh. Does have the cruise if he wants it. He did get a kill before he got traded out. Four, five life advantage for the fire ants. Ice going hill. Gets naded out by ice. Does get the kill though. Genesis is going to play this tight corner. Try to get two. Does get one. It's two. No, one above him. One above him. Going to drop down, I believe. Nope, it's team. He does drop in the corner. He gets a kill with the jumps, gets him cruising. You don't want to see G Genesis challenge that from so far away, but uh just giving it a giving it a try here. Seven seconds. They're gonna get one more touch. Having to try Reno on A. Another predator missile. And there are three on A. Here comes another one. Whoa. Um, <laughs> gets Genesis there. I don't. Friendly I, it fire like is. His, uh, <laughs> his predator or his missile just came down at that weird angle. And they cap A. So Hutchinson getting on the board to cap A, adding they're, another minute to the clock. They're full so out. They can but... rotate B. This is their last opportunity for them. It is match point for USC Sumter. They have to double their lives as well. 18 to 8. And Genesis is just kind of running in the spawn. Reno gonna play tight here. Gets it. Ooh, I thought he was going to get the second, but jumps helps him out. Gets it. Nice low. Five lives left Hutch for Hutch. just playing really tight back here. Not able to find a way to push up. They got to play this perfectly. Got to get a full team wipe and then get a couple spawn traps to get this B play. Jumps, but that's not going to happen. Over. Three lives left. USC Sucker looks to be taking this win and not dropping a single map this NJ series. Or this NJ season. Or the series. As they get the final kill there, USC Sumter wins 3-1 to Hutch in control and 3-0 in the series. To so, finish up the season. Very impressive win. Seven and oh yeah. By USC Sumter. Wow, uh probably shouldn't have dropped. Again, probably should have been three to zero, but we'll take any one we can get. But a right. great game by the Fire Ants, a great regular season by the Fire Ants as well. As Coach Chris said earlier, finishing seven and oh, finishing every single map three and O to Finished the regular season 21 and 0 on all rounds. Just a dominant season by the Fire Ants. Yeah, and looking, to remember. looking to carry this into playoffs and see if we can't make a make some noise there. Get a big win. That'll be nice for us. Mm -hmm. And we may have an interview here. Oh, really? Do we know by who? I'm not sure. Just reaching out to see from Coach Clark who he might send down. Um, and again, USC Sumter closes out the season 7-0. and Wins this match tonight against Hutch, Hutch commu Hutchinson Community College. 3-0. Uh, USC Sumter doesn't drop a map all season. Well played there. Let's see if we can continue it on in postseason and repeat our championship success from the fall. So mm -hmm. that's going to be the goal. And uh, as I said, at 7.30, we'll be back on the stream for a uh, Rocket League match for our intra team. And going to see what...
what we can do tonight for that. They'll be on the stream for the first time. The COD team out of the CCL regular season, so that's over. Finishing six and five. Respectful, tied for fourth place. Um, but uh, uh, going to have their work cut out for them to uh, battle back in through some qualifiers and such to get into the playoffs, which should start next week, I believe. So they'll be off after this match tonight. Um, and uh, obviously doing some practicing and such this week. But um, we'll be back at it uh, pretty soon with Rocket League. Still waiting to see if anybody's coming down. Uh, but USC Sumter again does go 7-0 and on the season and going to look to uh, finish out strong in the playoffs. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get an interview here. Um, maybe they want to take the some players. time to enjoy. I think they're, they're, yeah, I think they're just focusing up, maybe celebrating a little bit and, um, you know, they may have some scrims lined up and such too. So, uh, yeah, USC Sumter again, just to recap their COD team for NJ finishes the season, regular season seven and zero. did not drop a map all season and headed to the playoffs as the number one seed and hopefully going to repeat our success from a championship last fall um, and uh, be the spring champions as well. So don't want to count our chickens before they hatch, um, but that is our overall goal, what we're trying to accomplish. Yep. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, good match all the way around. We'll be back at 730 uh, for our Rocket League match, and stay tuned for that. Um, and we'll sign off here for just a little bit. See you in about 30 minutes. Coach Chris signing out from the Ant Hill. This is Dylan. Thanks for joining us.